It's a Halloween poem, okay? So it's kind of scary. No, it's not. It's not. Well, I think it's kind of silly. Not really. All right, here we go. The sickening, slithering, slimy sand slug. <laughs> you would be in good company were you to assume that a creature so large and ungainly could cover the distance between you and it with a speed not just fast, but insanely. Folklorists tell of this gross apparition appearing all over the land as it slides and squeezes its amorphous self through the voids which exist neath the sand. It rarely, if ever, makes its presence known as it moves just beneath nature's rug. But its victims all wish that its cover had been blown. The sickening, slithering, slimy, sand slug. The thing defies reason and logic and science. It plies its grim trade in gelatinous defiance. Its appetite drives it alone through the black. Though when it comes up, sun may greet its attack. Many campers and hikers, unsuspecting and glad, exploring the dunes, trees, and trails, have met untimely ends described only as bad, courtesy of this limbless, grotesque, unshelled snail. Its age is unknown. Its size is immense. Its substance is ooey and gooey and dense. It feeds as it wills, and it always is hungry. Its speed and agility makes its victims seem clumsy. The sickening, slithering, slimy sand slug terrorizes all creatures regardless of size. It has snatched from the sands both elephants and bugs. It has even plucked large birds of prey from the skies. So, if you walk the sands, let this warning suffice. The slug shows no mercy, and it never thinks twice. If you wish to defend with a weapon or fist, I suspect that you still haven't gotten the gist. If you ever notice the sand neath your feet rumbling a bit, don't think, hey, that's neat. It could be a truck on the highway, that's true. But there's one thing I most certainly would not do. Don't gather your friends all around you to feel this subterranean sensation that barely seems real. Instead, you should scatter and climb up a tree as the earth opens up right where you used to be. Hurl your best taunts and insults at the beast. Its hearing is acute and it's quite insecure. It's sensitive to the fact that it has no legs or feet. Point this out to the slug and it will leave for sure. It's sickening and slithering, and slimy, that's right. And the sight of it has certainly caused many a fright, but as long as you heed my sage sand slug advice, you'll survive this encounter with a tail to entice. Just one final word, which I feel I should share. There are some who having survived, take a break in the darkness away from the fire, unscared, then meet its cousin, the terrible, horrible three-legged snake. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>